recent article you talk about the waste hierarchy. What is that? Yeah, good question. So when you look at um, at food waste, um, basically, if you think of a of a kitchen, a contract catering kitchen, the primary focus should be on reducing waste in the first place. And you do that through different uh, solutions that, that they are in place. For example, uh, whether it's measuring the waste that you throw into a bin and attaching a cost to it, etc. Because the idea behind that is to build awareness in the kitchen around how much is being wasted and also hopefully help with the forecasting so that you're ordering the right amount of food that you need and not ending up wasting a lot of avocados every week, for example. <clears throat> but that is, that will always still result in surplus food because you can never get that 100% right, especially during this pandemic where you have un poor forecasting in terms of how many people are going to come to your restaurant or eat in the office or whatever. So the next step is then to try and sell what you have left at a discount because you still want to try and get some value from your surplus food. And there you have different technologies like Karma, for example, uh, or Too Good To Go that work with businesses to sell the food at a, at a discounted price. But even then, you will still have surplus food left over because you won't be able to sell everything. And that's when then going down the hierarchy that's where charities then play a critical role in taking the surplus food that the um, operation was not able to sell. But again, what I said earlier, the charities are limited into how much they can take, the types of food, the locations that they can get to, the time of the day, the day of the year. So you still have a lot of surplus food being left over that charities weren't able to take that will end up going to animal feed or aerobic digestion or compost or worst case landfill yeah. and that's why where olio comes in in that hierarchy is to close that gap so that in the end if you look at the food waste recovery hierarchy we are the final stop to ensure that no edible surplus food key word being edible goes further down the stream to animal feed and so on and in the end the ultimate goal is that no food waste should go to landfill because going back to my one of my first comments around if food waste were a country would be the third largest contributor think of food waste in landfill creates methane gas which is 27 times more powerful than CO2. So food waste going to landfill is an absolute no-no. It has to be pre prevented at all costs. What do you think will be the next step for earlier to raise awareness? I don't know if you saw on the buses and in the underground in uh, in January, uh, we did some promotions around Olio with the aubergines and the nectarines. I don't know if you remember that. Uh, we did some radio advertising about a month ago. And then last week, Saturday, the radio, uh, TV advertising started. Um, but also, you know, my, myself and my team, we're approaching a lot of businesses. So please, when you, you know, when you talk to, to the hotels and that, I mean, tell them about Olio because that's spread the word. Because, you know, th th this is where, where it is. So we're really trying to build awareness. What we've also seen is that a lot of a, a really dramatic increase in the amount of non-food sharing that is taking on the app that is taking place on the app so that's something that we're also trying uh, to promote and we're also you know as a startup company scaling up we're also going to bring in new things on the app uh, that uh, that will basically we started for example uh, goals and basically it's pro uh, through the app giving people different goals for example changing your toothbrush to a bamboo toothbrush for which you get points uh, and th these are kind of things where we, what we're trying to do to promote more sustainable living 
So reducing food waste, reducing waste in general by sharing non-food and also leading a more sustainable life. Do you think that the methylated door is helping to raise that awareness in the hospitality? Absolutely, because you are the future leading chefs of this world, or in the UK in this case. Um, and, um, and that's where it starts. It's, it's raising awareness. And when you become aware of how big a problem food waste is, and equally important that there are solutions out there to solve it, then it's very easy to put the two together. Mm -hmm.